and I see a donut with bacon on it. Canadians go. eat your heart out. <laughs> what do you think? Whoa, brother. Everything is so decadent. Hey guys, I'm Greg Hudson, host of America's Best Restaurants, where we scour the country checking out hidden gems and local favorites. And we are in Hopkins, Michigan, population 600, and it feels more like Main Street, USA, which is perfect because right now we are at Main Street Bakery, where of course they've got all of your baked goods from donuts to muffins, but check this out. They're also doing breakfast, lunch, and dinner, scratch made to go every single day. This is Main Street Bakery on this edition of ABR. What's going on, man? How you doing, pal? Doing great. Good to see you, brother. Nice to see you. Man, what a, what a neat little town you have here. Oh, it's beautiful. We love this it. This is just, I mean, it's so quaint. And then, of course, you got Main Street Bakery here. This feels like Main Street USA. That's right. We're right on Main Street. We're here. We love it. We're a little family-owned business. My mom works with me. My wife and my kids love are that. here today. Love that. It's all about family here, all about community. And I know you're a bakery, and I, I did my homework, right? I'm sure you have too if you've seen this place. A lot of great pastries, donuts, uh, cakes, but you do some savory food here too, right? That's like, right. You have lunch and breakfast and all that. Breakfast, kind of stuff? lunch for everyone on the go. We got, in fact, I'll show you one of our best sellers right now. Okay. This is our pig in a blanket. Oh, I love pigs in a blanket, man. I know you know as a kid, right? The little so what? It ain't like other <laughs> pigs that you've ever had, brother. This is not the pigs in the blanket I was expecting. This is massive. That's right. This is pigs in the blanket? That's pigs in the blanket, our style. And you're going to get your breakfast sausage in there. Of course, we start with breakfast sausage, some cheddar cheese, some diced onion. And we wrap it in a nice puff pastry. Never oh, dry. That's beautiful. Look at this thing. Look at that. And I love mm. the puff pastry, too, because then you get more of the filling. I don't want to sure. taste a bunch of bread. I want a bunch of filling. That's right. Mm. What do you think about that? Mmm. Mm. That's outstanding. You guys making this in-house? In-house. Fresh every day, brother. Ma'am. So here's the thing. This town has how many people in it? 600 strong. 600 people. 600 strong. I love that. Here's what I want you to think about. In the city you live in, if it does have more than 600 people, which most of you probably does, you can't get a fresh breakfast of this magnitude in a regular mid-sized city, let alone something like this. That's right, it's a labor of love. Bro, you are not serving up just fast food here. Mm -mm. Made from scratch. Man, and, and can you imagine every morning you could just pop down Main Street and pick this up for a breakfast. Big, hearty, and fresh scratch made. That's right. This is awesome. All right, so what else are we trying today, man? Well, we're gonna try some of our world famous beef tips. Slow roasted beef and a rich gravy. And after that, we're gonna hit you with some dessert, some sweets right from the deli case. I was gonna say, man, I walked in, that's the first thing I noticed was this case of donuts. I mean, I see like little cupcakes over there, all kinds of things, lots of sweet treats. All right, so we got the beef tips. Yep. And then you know we are hitting that dessert case. But, hmm, one more bite of that. Man, that's good. There you go. All right, well, I'll tell you what, I need to stop eating that. They're gonna save some room. But why don't you take me over to the dessert case I want to hear more about your story because I know this is a, a big family run operation and you and your mom work well together here. So let's check out some desserts. Let's see, hear how you're doing this. All right. Sounds so, great. Man. man, that's good. Okay, man, I'll be really honest. When I walked in the door, my line of sight went straight here. Oh yeah. The first thing I saw is a big case of donuts. It ain't by accident either. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> smart. We, you know, we focus on everything made from scratch daily here. We focus on fresh in our small town. We're real blue collar here. People enjoy a, a good work ethic. So we make things fresh every day and we do donuts bigger than anyone else does. So what you see in the cabinet, you have your fill of cake donuts, long johns, but we like to mix it up too. Cause you'll see some 
fruity pebbles in there. You'll I see. I noticed that. that. I'm like, those are fruity pebbles on donuts. Yeah. Oh, and you wouldn't believe it. People love them. Love it. And so these are made fresh every single day. Every day. This many donuts. Yep. This is you got it. Look at this thing. Look at that. Yeah. Ooh. Love it. Look at the chocolate Kit Kat. And the apple fritters made from scratch. I mean, they're back there. They peel those Granny Smith apples and dice them up for those fritters. Really? Yes, they do. And you are not joking around with the freshness in here. That's right. That's and right. Then, but then as you go down, we've got some muffins, some, oh, bro, I'm a sucker for cinnamon rolls. Absolute sucker. You won't find any bigger. And especially this time of year, the pumpkin cream cheese muffins. You, as you were saying that, it caught my eye because here's what you need to see. There is only one left. There is only one of these left, one pumpkin cream cheese muffin. Well, now there's none left because that's, that might be for us, we'll see. But so you do a lot of catering though, right? Is that how this started or then your mom came on board? I mean, it's a whole family affair here. That's right, I started cooking. My mom and I are both self-taught. I started cooking with her at, at our home, probably under age 10. But yeah. professionally by age 14, I was cooking with her. She had a restaurant north of town. We you know, we opened a catering business to go along with that. The catering business grew to a point where we needed a home. And it just so happens that we, in the village that we live in, we had a nice gentleman who owned this building and said, I got a home for you. That's, that's really great. And we had a chance to chat um, and I can tell, and I, I want you guys to really feel how much this community in this town means to you. You guys are involved in all kinds of um, fundraisers throughout the town. And it just feels like a really tight knit community. That's how it is here. And we're not special for that. The town itself, everyone is involved with, with the town and the community from athletic boosters, the band boosters, to the school trips, the senior trips, everything. We really enjoy giving back and the public sees that and they support us as well. And I can tell you from in between shots, people walking in the door, Nick knows everybody that comes in here. He's like, oh, that's my mom's sister's best friend's neighbor. Or then the gentleman comes in like, oh yeah, that's Stanley. He's, I mean, you know right. everybody that comes through that door. That's right, it's like, cheers. Everyone knows your name. And you brought something up earlier that now that I'm thinking about, kind of resonates and, and hits home because this is a town where we say 600 people. And thinking about that, chances are a lot of people that live in a city of 600, they're probably commuting to work. It's probably like a, <laughs> In most cases, a long drive, 30 minutes at least plus. Yeah. And if you live in this town and you're able to come in and get a breakfast like we just had every day, mm -hmm. that's scratch made in-house and that big and hearty. That's right. You're headed off and you got a 30 minute drive to work, man. That's special in any that's city, right. let alone a city of 600 people to be able to get that. That's right. That's you're doing right. a great service here, bro. Right. We love it. It's a labor of love. We do what we love and it shows. Okay, now these beef tips, is that something that, let's say I'm headed into work for the day I come in at 6 a.m., I get my breakfast. Can I take my, give something that I can like grab for lunch that's gonna be party as well, but still take to work? That's right, yeah, we sure do. Every day we have lunch items that you can take and bring to work with you. And even we have some things in our cooler case for evening at night and when you're coming home at night too. That's yeah. great, man. Dinner. It's a, you're like the scratch kitchen for the entire town. That's, that's right. That's what you are, That's bro. right. Like the scratch kitchen for the, for the entire city. Uh, well, listen. I'm kind of working up an appetite again. What do you say? Uh, let's go try those beef tips. Let's do it. All right, back in the kitchen now. I love this. I like getting back in the kitchen where everything's going down, where you're putting it together. And so now we're going to try the beef tips, right? Which people can take for lunch Dinner. or each day if they wanted to. Dinner, whatever. That's right. All right, let's go. That's right. Talk Slow roasted beef. It's in our rich beef gravy, along with some mushrooms and onions. Oh, now you're speaking my language. Yeah, there you go. Put it right over top of these noodles here. Look at that. Oh, man. Mmm. There you go. Let's go. Mmm. Dish me again, up some of this. And again, what I love about this, man, is that people have something hearty and fresh to take to work. It's different. It's not fast food. It's not a burger and fries. Oh, no, no. And it's local, you right. know? All right, let's go. Oh, All right. man. And you got, well, as soon as you said mushroom and onion. Mm. Speaking my language. Yes, sir. Man, this beef, I can tell it's fork tender already. I'm having mm -hmm. trouble just getting it onto the fork. It's just falling apart. Mm. What do you like? Man. 
that beef is phenomenal. There's a reason why that's the number one seller for our catering company. I can tell, I mean, that beef just melts. It melts right into the gravy, right in your palate. It's so rich. And it's very rich. That gravy is rich. And yeah, the onion and mushroom just add to it. Anything just... mushroom for me, but. There you go. Man. If you're picking one of these up for work, I hope you guys get a nap time too. This is excellent. Now, when is this available? Is this each day you can get this? Because you, you rotate every day. your menu. That's right. The beef kips at least once a week. And we have other items that are available every single day. Okay. You know what else I'm thinking with this too? I know how cold it gets in the winter time in Michigan. And this, this is gonna be exactly what you're looking for when it's cold, it's snowy, the wind's blowing. Stick to your ribs, brother. Mm. 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 So this is a favorite. This is mm -hmm. a, a local's favorite. Number one. Man. You do a lot of catering with that too? Mm hmm Because this is perfect for catering for large groups. That's right. You know, we do, I would guess 80% of the jobs we do, we have beef. <laughs> Out here, you gotta have beef. <laughs> I like your mentality. You're, you're right, I man, you mentioned it earlier. It's like, hey, listen, it's hard work and blue collar out here. We only got 600 people in the town. We're gonna make sure we eat good. That's, That's right. kind of your mentality. But but again, all local, you tie it all back to the local theme, which I love too. Absolutely. Okay, man, I gotta get one more bite of this, but tell me, tell me I'm not leaving here without getting in that donut case and going nuts. That's right, don't fill yourself up too bad because my wife made up a nice little dessert platter for us to try. You say a dessert platter? Yeah, you so we're not just one. Okay, well. That's my last bite of that then, because uh, we're gonna head out there for a little dessert platter. Man, I love that. All right, we're back, and as promised, we've got the dessert platter, which I don't know if you make this or not regularly, but you're gonna be selling a lot of these once this airs because this is art. That's right, my wife knew that we were gonna have some guests today, so she threw together a nice platter of everything we have to offer, or at least the vast majority, and bring it on. And you know what they, they have on this platter right now that just tells me everything I need to know. You guys are all about local, family, personalized service. Look at this. They even have their very own America's Best Restaurant cookie, which that's, right. that's damn good, by the way. Who made that? Hey, a few of the gals in the back, they're real talented. That cookie is made from scratch, as is the icing on it. Ooh, well, I'm gonna start here. I kind of have to. There you go. I'm start here. Mm. Oh, man. What do you think? I feel like I'm a six-year-old right now. Right. I'm standing like a six-year-old. Well, dig in with me okay. right off the right, bat. Right. Where are you so going? So I'm gonna start my personal favorite the Chex Mix. Now, some might call this Christmas crack. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas crack. I, but here we call this the Main Street Bakery Chex Mix. Okay. White chocolate, peanut butter, pretzels, some candies, and a little bit of that rice Chex. All right. I'll go with that. Mm-hmm. Oh! Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. I totally get it. You got the peanut butter in there and you got some sweetness, but then I love the pretzel and the check mix that's in there. What I love about this the most is that it does taste homemade, but when you, as soon as you said the word Christmas and I took a bite, you know you want bowls of that sitting around your Christmas party. That's, that's what right. I take away. It just disappears. Yeah, I want this, I want the bowls of this throughout my living room and my kitchen when I have a Christmas party for people to nibble on. That's outstanding. You're making that scratch here from scratch. What's this? This is so called puppy, puppy Chow. Puppy Chow. Puppy Chow. Again, it's chocolate, it's peanut butter, it's Chex, and we dust it with a healthy heaping of, of course, powdered sugar. Healthy heaping. I like that. I'm going to use that. That's the challenge. Use the word healthy heaping this week. This is, oh wow, this is like soft. That's right. You're going to wear it. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay, who's coming up with all this stuff? You know, we are so lucky. We have so many great staff that everyone's involved in the creative process. Everyone comes up, hey, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? And then they have the talents pulled off. Like, you know what? This tiger bark. I saw someone walking through the back of your kitchen with this. Yeah, just a few minutes ago. Yeah. Chocolate, peanut butter, it's striped. I would have never made this on my own. But Julie back there, 
What she brought to my attention, she made it, saw it all the way through. Delicious. Look at the detail on that. I want to be in on that swirl. That's beautiful. You know what I'm starting to learn about you, my man, is that you you like peanut butter, don't you? I get it from my wife. No. I wasn't a big oh. peanut butter fan. She got me hooked. Or, or his wife put the platter together, so she put all the peanut butter stuff on there because she likes the peanut butter. I'm not mad at it. Oh, what do you this like? just melts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's outstanding. All right, what, I mean, you have so many great things on here. How about this? This is our, one of our best sellers. This is a scotcheroo. A scotcheroo? When we were kids, these would show up at your family, your neighborhood, potluck. We do it, we take it to another level. So it's got Rice Krispies, it's got some corn syrup, butterscotch, chocolate, and of course, peanut butter. <laughs> she, I'm telling you, I'm telling you that's what she did. Anything with peanut butter, she put on the platter. So well, you said there's rice krispie treat there. Because when I look at this, I'm, I'm thinking I'm about to bite into some fudge. Yeah, it's going to have it that like. fudge top. It's going to have that feeling. You know, town of 600 people, we'll sell 60 of these a week. Every, <laughs> yeah. What? Mm-hmm. So 10% of the entire community just sell out of these. Yeah. Just coming to buy them. Can't keep them on the rack. Oh, man. You know what I really like about this is it is reminiscent of fudge or peanut butter fudge. But by having those Rice Krispies in there, it, it it's not as dense, so you can eat more of it. Yeah, yeah. And I want to eat more of the sweets, let's be honest. There you go. But it does, it, it it's it's softer going down, it's lighter, it's airier because of those Rice Krispie treats that are in there. You're right, not quite as rich, cuts that a little bit. Yeah. And what'd you say it's just called again? Scotcheroo. Scotcheroo? Mm-hmm. Who came up with that? Must be those ladies at the potluck. Mm -hmm. Let's make a little scotcheroo. That's right. Or it was a gentleman who wanted something sweet to eat with a scotch. Oh, like, oh, yeah. Scotcheroo. A man after my own heart. Right. <laughs> this is great, man. Let's keep going. All, All right. right. We're just going to keep going for a while. I'm sorry. That's right. How about mm. cake ball? Cake pop. Cake pop? Yep. It's classic. Whoa. Chocolate. And you can feel that. This cake. is like a two pound cake pop. Uh, you were a, talking about it, something not being dense. This is a cake barbell. You can do a curl of these. This is hey, a cake barbell. At the end of it? See yeah. That's what I'm doing there? Get you a little bit after That's chocolate. What's on the inside? Chocolate and frosting rolled together, coated, of course, in chocolate. So, so the inside is chocolate and frosting. Yep. <laughs> this is the... There you go, ma'am. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, now I see what you mean. When you said chocolate and frosting. Mm -hmm. I, I wasn't quite sure if I'm expecting like frosting to fall out, but no, it's it's whipped into this like moist, creamy mm -hmm. um, batter mix. It's almost like it's almost like cake batter, but before you cook it, you know how you like to take the, the spatula that's right. and you, like lick out the inside of the bowl. That's what the inside of this tastes like. Mm -hmm. Like when you're a kid, mom gives you the bowl, you take that spatula, the inside of this cake pop. That's what this is. That's right. Made from scratch. Man, you all are next level here. You are next level. Told you, labor of love, brother. Well, I got a little more room. All right. And I see a donut with bacon on it. Yes, sir. That's all you. What is it? That is our maple bacon donut. We start with a made from scratch raised donut. We got a maple glaze on the top, and then we coat it with cuts of bacon. Mmm. A little bit. Of, a little sheen on there. That's right. I don't know if that's bacon grease or if it's maple, but it, it might be a little delicious. bit of both. A little bit of, oh, maple bacon grease. That's right. I think we just invented something new. Here you go. Here Canadians go. eat your heart out. <laughs> what do you think? Whoa, brother. Everything is so decadent. That's what I can't get over. The yeah. flavors are so decadent on everything that you're doing. And what's that frosting again? That's a, that is a maple glaze on top. Yep, with maple syrup. Oh my goodness. I'm definitely getting some of that bacon fat in there with it too. Man, this is, you got, yeah, I gotta give you a fist bump my hands are a mess. What you guys are doing here is just outstanding, especially for this community. Um, the desserts, the donuts are fantastic no matter what, but you're taking it to another level because you're preparing meals for a hardworking community to take every single day, to come in and get something for breakfast or to bring home for dinner after a long day at work or something to feed the family and it all just tastes very homey. That's right. We're friends, family, we serve the community here. We're lucky enough to do business in this community and it shows we put a lot of effort in it. 
Well, I hope if you're even coming by the area, you stop into Main Street Bakery and, and just taste some of the love that's in this food because it's definitely there. Where can people find you online? Online, find us on Facebook. Just search for Main Street Bakery and Hopkins. We're also on Instagram. Okay, excellent. You know what to do for us. Like, subscribe, and share. Uh, in the comments below, let me know if anything's catching your eye here on the platter. Maybe it's the puppy chow. I'm telling you, this this is next level, the, the cake pop. Definitely one of my favorites, Bill. So like, subscribe, and share, and tell us what you would order if you came here uh, to Main Street Bakery. I'm Greg Hudson, and we will see you on the next episode of America's Best Restaurants.